Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantal. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> In today's video, I asked you guys to pick my makeup on Instagram. Um, so this is the look that I created. It's what it was supposed to be a really neutral basic look because of this lip. But I kind of wanted to play around with the orange tones and you know just play and have some fun it's been a while since i've done my makeup so why not be a little bit extra you know what i mean um so yeah if you guys want to see me create this look and see the products that i use to create this look keep on watching <laughs> so why only never tell me about soap brows like I'm a changed woman now. <laughs> if I keep looking up, it's because I have my little screen thingy right there. And uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna start with brows. <laughs> and uh, oh god. We start with my brows and I just need a satin spray and I cannot find it. Okay. So I'll just use this one from Milani. I had this soap. Um, this is the DHC Mild Soap. I had this soap for like almost a year. And I actually saw someone on um, YouTube using this soap and I was like oh my gosh I have that so I've been using this for like the past month I want to say and y'all Avex you know why Avex because oil didn't tell me that so brows is the truth. Only in about some of and have X. It's so freaking good. Like seriously. Just look at the difference. Oh, you see the difference? Look. So brow, no so brow. So brow, no so brow. <laughs> it's so good. I can't. Okay. So now, I know this side of my brow is crazy. I don't know. It's just crazy so um hold i had asked you guys to help me pick my makeup on instagram so that's what we're gonna do today my skin is extra dry especially now because i've been using a um different i've started using a different acne treatment so it's like extra dry right now um so i will have to tweak some of the things that i use in today's video but we starting off with skin first and you all choose the huda beauty um primer so that's what we're gonna go in with first Well, good if I hear that I was not really. And I did eat breakfast. <laughs> I actually just had breakfast. Oops. So for foundation, you guys chose um, the fancy uh, 
what is this pro filter soft matte longwear foundation um, and I have went in the shade 290 when I tell you I had so much trouble finding a foundation shade to match me and this still is like really light um, so I'll have to tweak that and kind of like mix it in with a different foundation um, but first I'm gonna spray my face with this MAC Fix Plus in Blue Shade in Gold Light what the I don't know I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go in with um I'm gonna go in with some of this Lumi Glow Lotion by L'Oreal also if the audio sounds different it's because I'm using my new camera that my dearly sisters got me for Christmas and it does not have a um, it does not have a uh, space for a mic so yeah if I sound funny that's probably why also I'm still having my coffee so if my energy seems eh, that's why uh, yeah okay so now that that's dry well almost dry I'm gonna go in with the um, L'Oreal Lumi Glow Lotion and this is in the shade 903 I really wanted to do a best of um, 2020 makeup but I haven't really been doing makeup so I'm like eh. but if I were doing a best of 2020 this L'Oreal Glow Lotion will definitely be a part of it <laughs> okay so now I'll just blend that in with my fingers So when I used to work at MAC, I would always do um, eyebrows first and then um, then do everything else, but now I started doing my eyebrows last and everything else first and it's really giving me a hard time readjusting to doing eyebrows first because now I have to like take my time when I go around my eyebrows. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's on. And now we're gonna go in with foundation. And yes, I just wipe my hands and my pants. It's okay. This is my makeup pan, so it's okay if I get makeup on it. <laughs> but y'all see how that that Lumi Glow Lotion just helps to like neutralize all the redness that was on my face before from those acne scars. Oh, I love it. Um, so okay. I find it okay, real pretty today, boy. Ooh, what's that one? Hmm. Anyways, this will be my first time using this foundation ever 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 like i try a little bit on it to see if the shade was right but i was about to because i just don't like a little swatch right here so if this foundation looking too light don't be scared we're gonna fix it okay i'm gonna do one pump one pump one one okay maybe i'll do one more okay that's it okay and to blend that out i'm gonna use the uh jacqueline hill jh12 brush this is a collaboration with morphe and uh, yeah also i have not done my makeup in so freaking long like I want to say almost two months wow when she say matte this foundation is matte like 
matte. Oh, you see that? Like no glow on my face no more. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to start with a little bit first and then build it up if I need because as I mentioned before my skin is dry right now I don't know, on the funny foundation looking like, maybe a little bit, right? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But this is my thing, right? So, with the Huda Beauty foundation, I have it in the shade. Oh, let me find it. I have it in the shade Tres Leches, the full filter foundation. Uh, I'm trying to find it so I can show all you. okay right and even though i really love this foundation and i could finesse this um it's still a little bit too yellow for me and um i wanted something more neutral so you all can see the difference i wanted something a little more neutral because i just don't want to look yellow um i want to look like me you know what i mean so in the Fenty foundation, I got the shade 290 because it's neutral, but it still has um, warm olive yellow undertones. So that's the reason why I got this one. I'm gonna go in with a little more this time. So for some reason, this foundation looking gray. Is it gray? I'm looking all gray. Oh my goodness, I look great. No, like for real, like in real life. In real life, I look fine. But for some reason, I look real crazy on there. Real, real crazy and I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I don't like that. Well, my ears. Oh, it does put foundation on my ears. I hope so. It was the. Oh god, I like it so crazy. I look real crazy. Okay, so for concealer, y'all chose the um the. Cover FX Power Play um, Concealer, but I have to color correct under my eyes first. So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna contour first. So, let me see. Y'all chose the e.l.f. Uh, palette. Oh, fudge. I can't take myself serious with this freaking foundation. So you all chose this uh, cream contour foundation, uh, cream contour palette from Elf. I'm gonna go in with the darker one because it's more warm and my face looks more cool tone right now. And I'm going in with the same foundation brush. And we go in and see if we can save this foundation now. I think the elf coming true for us. I could be wrong, eh? I could be wrong. Okay, what do you think? The brand, the contour safety foundation or or no? I don't know. For some reason, it's still looking like super yellow on camera, and I hate. I hate it. I hate it. I really, really hate it. Okay, 
Now I know we need to clean up the contour, but first we're going to put the concealer on. So for concealer, you guys chose. I mean, um, oh gosh, oh, you set me up here, but all right. I'll oh, choose the cover effects, but first I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and this is in the shade 365, just to color correct. I'm not here a little bit because we do have some dark circles. Okay, so now I am going to put the concealer on under my eyes. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry down for a couple minutes and then um, that's gonna dry down for a couple minutes and I'm gonna blend that out. I'm gonna use this beauty blender from Sonia Kashuk and um, then I'm gonna go back in with more bronzer uh, just because why not? We love coffee and bronzer over here. Get rid of it. Also, this um, beauty blender is dry. I don't know why, but lately I've been, um, I don't know, just I've been loving using a, a dry beauty blender. I don't know what it is. There go my belly again. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and blend um, like this part of my face right now. And I'm using the same brush, the Sigma Flat Large Fluff Brush, to blend it out first, and then now I'm gonna go in with the uh, damp. I mean the dry beauty blender. And like when I'm trying to blend the concealer like right here into the um, the bronzer, I kind of like to like pat in like a circular um, motion to kind of like blend everything instead of like doing like this, you know what I mean? And now to get this piece right here on my nose, I'm gonna lightly go over with my um, Sigma brush to kind of give that a little blend. Okay, 
I know for satin powder, y'all chose the um, Anastasia uh, loose satin powder. So that's what we're gonna use today. So this is what it looks like. It's just a white translucent powder. I'm gonna go in with that beauty blender under my eyes. okay so that's all and i'm gonna leave that on for a couple minutes and for satin powder y'all choose the charlotte tilbury so let's locate her and for this powder today i'm gonna use I guess I'll use this Sephora Pro Brush. Um, this is the Pro Air Brush, and I think it's in the number 55. This is supposed to be a foundation brush. I don't know. But yeah. Press that on. And I'm gonna go ahead and dust this. Anastasia powder away because that shit bright, 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 bright. So now I'm gonna spray my face with some satin spray um, to kind of like make everything look less powdery because I do have some dry patches that the powder clinged on to. So I'm gonna use my MAC. Um, X plus gold light one more time I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go in with my um, bronzer and stuff okay so comment down below and tell me what has 2020 taught you because I feel like even though 2020 was a horrible year um, like we've learned so much we've grown so much um we have so much to be grateful for you know what i mean we get to see 2021 you know i don't know maybe i'm just speaking to speak <laughs> but yeah i should talk up i should talk from like my uh 2020 experience like yeah it was a horrible year but i have so much to be grateful for and like i've learned so much um you know like being grateful for one you know what i mean like like grateful for my job you know grateful for my family um, grateful that I was lucky and my family was lucky to not get this uh, COVID-19 virus you know um, I don't know Maybe I'm just talking to talk, but I just feel like I've learned so much and I've grown so much and I'm just really grateful. <laughs> like, if 2020 was different, maybe I would not even have a YouTube channel, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm grateful that I was able to come out of out come out of my comfort zone and put myself out there, you know what I mean?
I'm starting to sweat and I don't like it. I have to turn my fan on guys. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit and I'm gonna use the same Sigma fluff brush, large fluff brush. Okay, so moving on to blush, you guys chose the MAC uh, Hush Tone. Hushed Tone. And I'm going to use the brush that I use, the Charlotte Tilbury Powder. This is the Sephora uh, Pro Airbrush in the number 55. It's got two numbers on here. Oh, yeah, it's 55. So now I'm going to do my eyes and then I'll do my highlight and stuff last. Um, for eyes, you all chose, I posted two palettes because I couldn't do one or the other. <laughs> so you all chose the Fenty Snap Shadow and the Stacey Marie Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. So we got Okay, and to prime my eyes, I'm gonna go in with bring it in a little bit. I'm first gonna carve my eyebrows with the custard, the Nas Radiant Creamy Concealer. Okay, so for my eyes today, I want to keep it neutral. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Fenty uh, Snap Shadows. And I'm first going to go in with the center one, which is called Honey Splash. This one right here. And I need brushes. <sighs> of course, I don't have any clean brushes. Okay. So I'm going to take this one from MAC, this is the 217 Tapered Blending Brush and I'm going to press that into my crease area. Okay, so now for the Stacey Marie palette, I'm going to go in with the orange tones right here. And I'm first going to take the shade yellow, this one right here, and put that in my crease as well using the same brush. And we're just placing that on top where we place the Fenty uh, Honey Splash. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush, a smaller blending brush, and blend the edges. I 
I'm actually gonna take a little more of the uh, honey splash and blend the edges of that. Mango. Just this one right here. And I'm gonna put that in the inner and outer corner of my eyes. And I'm gonna use a little pencil brush to do so. I'm just gonna do a little color I'm gonna do this one from Fenty this is in the shade Royal Dazzle this one right here and do I have a brush for that I'm gonna use this one that I use for my um to sculpt my eyebrows Okay, let me try wetting this because I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, hold on. Okay, so wet my brush a little bit. I'm gonna try this again. Wow. So I'm listening to this podcast. Um, this is a Super Soul Sunday with Oprah Winfrey. And she has Greg Behendrit on her um on this on that podcast and they're talking about dating, right? And the one girl said that like what's up with text and like do we not call each other and speak anymore like you know what i mean and she said well this is what i do she said i would say he would ask me a question and i would say call me for the answer so tell me if you're dating or in a relationship or whatever do you prefer texting or like a FaceTime or like an audio call or let me know because I'm more of like a texter but like sometimes I like to video call but like I'm so shy that if I video call I'm like always quiet I'm like like you know um so now I'm gonna go in with Teddy I don't think I actually have the eyeliner so let me let me see I want to warm this up a little bit Oh uh, no. So I'm gonna go in with Teddy by Mac and this is a brown eye cool. Okay. So I'm gonna line the top and the bottom, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna smudge it anyways.
Okay, so I finished my eyes off camera. I just added lashes and um, um, eyeliner at the bottom. So the lashes that I'm wearing is by Shop Wings and it's in the style um, Sweetie. Sweetie, so Shop Wings in the style Sweetie. And now, uh, just to be a little bit extra, I'm gonna add some little stones, some little rhinestones. And I'm gonna do yellow rhinestones. Maybe just like right here. She look cute, she look cute, she look cute. Just a little bit. So now I'm gonna spray my face for the million time. And then I'm gonna do highlighter. overdo it on the setting spray every single time and I'm not gonna apologize for it because that's just what we do over here And now I'm going to take the brush that I use for my blush and I'm going to kind of like blend it in together, all together, you know. And guess what we're going to do? Guess what we're going to do? <laughs> you guessed it, more setting spray. Okay, so it's this one. It's the Airbrush Flawless Satin Spray. Can you all see? Can you all see? Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Oh, gosh. Okay. I still have to, like, play around with these settings on this camera. Um, so if this video seems, you know, weird, that's why. Um, this is actually my first time using it, so... Bear with me guys, bear with me. Um, so let's go in with satin spray. Mmm, smell nice. Okay, so for lips, all you wanted me to do are red lip. I read. So let me see here. Which one? Which one was it? Which one? All I feel in the eyes or not? Nah. Just a little different. I don't think I ever use gems. 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 
gems here on my channel so y'all wanted me to use million dollar smile by mac and then for gloss y'all wanted me to do the fenty glow so i don't know how that combination working out but we're gonna try okay so to line my lips i'm gonna go in with this um lip liner from elf is from their retro paradise um collection So now, I think this is actually billion dollar smile, not million dollar smile. And this is the new, well, it's not that, it's not new, new. Um, but this is the Powder Kiss Liquid Lipstick from MAC. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry down for a little bit on camera. It looks really pink. Actually, it's really pink in general. Um, so now we're looking a little crazy. That was the only set me up. Only set me up. I saw my ear and Allen is a setup. But it's okay, it's different. It's definitely different than what I do here on my channel. So we, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Not bad. I actually really like this color and the way that it looks on me. That's really rare, 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 can, rare. That's really rare. We got it. Get it together. Okay, so we're back. Um, this is the final look. Uh, yeah, I just changed my top and I never know what to do with my hair. So this is what you're going to get most times. <laughs> or um, maybe when it's straight, you will get this. And when it's curly, you will just get crazy. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, um, hold please. This is why I don't like using, um, concealer as eyeshadow primer. Because it always creases in, yo. Yeah. Uh, so this is the final look. I, am. Um, Oh, could I guess I was gonna see that. Um, the lips, I really like, but my lips are super dry, um, just like the rest of my face. Um, but yeah, I love the skin, love the eyes, love the lip, love everything about it. Obsessed with soap brows, like obsessed with soap brows. Like, look at my brows. Obsessed. <laughs> um, yeah, so. This was fun. I'm going to be doing this a lot more on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, my Instagram handle is 2 underscores Chantal M and Chantal with the E L. Nah. Chantal with the S and Chantal with the E L. I'll have it um, linked down below. And what else? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave now. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the vibes. We have a new camera, so videos are gonna be lit. Um, 
I just need a new backdrop. My closet is not continent anymore, but we getting there, we getting there. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.